today is a current face routine video because I haven't done one since like June. Yeah. Hopefully I'm gonna make this more of a regular thing, more monthly. Um wondering why my nails are like neon pink and really badly, badly done, like seriously. Check out the fail nails. Like seriously. So bad. Um, I'm in a bad mood today, so I fancied some uh, pinkness on my nails. This is a Sugar Eye by uh, Tiny Glaze. I know it's so not a fall colour, but I don't care. I need some happy. So it'll do. Um, so yeah, today is current foundation and face routine for November. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I'll probably do another one later on in November, but we'll call this one an updated current foundation routine. So, hair clip back and I shall start with my foundation, shockingly enough. Or will I? No, I'll start with my eyeshadow because that's just easier. It is. It's just easier. I've got my, um, eyeshadow primer, my Too Faced, which is like a gift for anyone with oily lids. Okay, and to start I'm going to take my big C brush from e.l.f. 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 And I'm going to take Ivory Coast from Seventeen, which, look ma, I hit ham. And this is just going to go down from brow bone to lash line just as a base to like blend the eyeshadows onto next I'm taking a top top because I'm Sean Connery <laughs> fail I'm um, taking Taupe by NYX on the Revlon Contour Shadow Brush, which is this bad boy. And again, look, I hit Pam. I'm getting good at hitting Pam. And I'm just going to put this like mostly in the crease area wise. And then bring it down onto the lid area wise. And then just blend a little. This is seriously the most boring everyday eye look I could possibly ever do apart from a shimmery lid colour and run out the door. Um, at least this one requires a little bit of effort. At the moment I'm like, I'm not right at this very moment, like, but I am, um, when I'm getting ready for work these days, um, it takes place in my room, kinda in the dark, with literally my mirror and a lamp. So, I try and use things that are least likely to go wrong because I don't really have time to fix it in the morning. Um, and this is Golden Amber by NYX. I'm just taking that in a small shader brush and then with this I'm just going to run it along the lash line area. try and get most of the colour in the outer bit. I'm sure I've done a tutorial on this before. A Kira Knightley inspired one. If I have, I will link it in the info box so that you guys can see. Because I'm pretty sure that tutorial is better than this. This is just a quick throw together thing. And just 
blend it along the lid area like this, and then take the brush you applied the taupe with and blend it ever so slightly. Don't worry about it being like perfectly blended because let's be honest, going to work, going to school, um, perfect makeup isn't necessarily a must unless you work on a makeup counter. Okay, and now I've done this eye a bit darker than the other eye. So just go back and forth between the two until your intensity is similar. Because whilst it doesn't have to be perfect, you at least kind of want the colours to match. You don't want one horrendously dark side and then one really light side. Because that would just look a tad bit silly. Okay, so we'll go with that. That looks good enough. Next, I'm going to do my foundation, which at the moment is L'Oreal True Match. And I apply it with the QVS Dual Fiber Brush. I only use about a pump. I try and like portion out my pump and dot it over the brush. Uh, just having one big glob in the middle. Then I just sort of dot it over the face. And this will is mostly just for the center portion of my face just to even out skin tone and hide blemishes and stuff like that. I have been breaking up quite a lot lately, which I don't know why. I don't know if it's hormonal, change of the weather, or what's been happening, but it's annoying. Most of my blemishes are down the central column of my face, so I try and focus my foundation there. Okay, now that your foundation is blended, just take that brush that you were using for the gold from Amber and dip it back in. And we're going to take this underneath as close to the lash line as possible. Okay, and for mascara. Hmm. I'm going to use my Prestige, my black lashes. I'm currently going through all of my mascaras, trying to use them all up. Because I, this card, I have quite a few open. Yay! Here comes the sun to make me look like a death head. Yeah! That's why I want, I want the sun! Ah! Oh, it blinds. Blinding. Go away, sun. Please, go away, sun. You going away? You going away. 
God. Okay, so now you've curled your eyelashes and been unexpectedly blinded by the sun. I'm gonna apply my mascara. Um, this is quite thick at the moment because it is fairly dried out, but it's still good. It's still good. Okay, so now I have my mascara on and it looks like I have eyes. I'm gonna put on my blush and at the moment, um, well, I've been shopping my stash a lot and I forgot I had this. This is the Oso Fair Beauty Powder from the uh, Venomous Villains collection. And it's really, really pretty. But really, really dupable. It's basically like a China doll pink. You could find this anywhere. It's a lovely blue doll, blue toned China doll pink. And I basically just take it on this. Um, it's called a travel powder brush. It's from QVS. And I just do that and uh, use it to apply my blush <laughs> because it works because I have a huge face and it kind of blends as it goes which is just awesomeness. I love this blush. Today I cannot be bothered to contour so I'm not going to, I'm just going to apply my lipstick and I'm done. In sync lip liner, no, subculture lip liner, tell a lie, and line the lipstick is fine. And I'm gonna take this lipstick, which is Gosh Darling, or Gosh is Darling, whichever you want to say it. But I like saying Gosh Darling, and I basically just try not to get it on the teeth. I'm gonna have to get my pearl drops out again because my teeth. Like, be honest with me, are my teeth yellow? Because I think they're starting to go a bit yellow. I was thinking of going on to um, like drugstore.com and ordering some of those crust whitening straps. And ta da! That is what I look like when I work. I mean, obviously my hair wouldn't be down like this because I would be working with food. Um, I would probably look like this to you. Yeah, totally slicked back. But since I'm not at work, I can be all fun and flirty with my hair. Yeah, I kind of tried to curl it and then gave up halfway through. I kind of like it, but yeah. And my hair just won't sit right. Like he keeps doing this weird thing with the parting, like with the zigzag. It's odd. I don't mind it, but my friends, like they'll come up to me and like, it was on the wrong side. I'm like, don't touch my hair, just don't touch my hair. I don't, like, I love my friends, but don't touch my hair. It's my hair. I styled it this way. Don't touch it. It does this naturally, so if you go and fuck with it, it's gonna tell you to fuck off and piss me off. But yeah. Anyways, this has probably been, like, a really rambly video. I don't know. Um, depends how much I decide to edit out because I talked a lot today. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, 